Hey folks, Mike here with a quick tutorial on MongoDB RAG, a new NPM library that's going to simplify the process of building RAG applications. Don't worry, this is not just another RAG tutorial. Uh, this is going to simplify your life. If you're trying to build a RAG application um, and you've been struggling, this is your tutorial, so stay tuned. I'm going to start from command line and I'm going to uh, run a command to show you what MongoDB RAG is all about. So we'll just look at the command line parameters. And we're going to be using this today, create RAG app. We're going to be using init to create a configuration file. Uh, and then we're going to be using some index commands as well. The first command I want to show you is npx mongodb-rag init. So this is going to configure MongoDB RAG. And in order to use it, I need to jump over here and grab a connection string. There we go. And I'll paste that in. And I'll paste that in. And I'm going to create a help desk. So I'm going to call the database help desk. I'll call the collection name, let's call it articles. These will be help desk articles that will be embedded and we'll use a chatbot to, to get answers. Uh, I'm going to use OpenAI today, but I want you to know that it does, MongoDB RAG does support Olama. If you have a local LLM installation, you want to save some money, you can run Olama for free. I'm going to do another tutorial on that soon, so stay tuned. Uh, let's use OpenAI, and I will need my OpenAI key, which I will grab. And don't bother trying to use these. They're already, by the time you view this, they're already deleted. I'm going to use the Text Embedding 3 Small, which has a 1536 dimension size. You will need to know some details about the language, a large language model you're using, but let's keep it simple. We'll use OpenAI with Text Embedding 3 Small. And away we go. So what this did was it created this file, cat.mongo. And here are all the details that I need to run MongoDB RAG. Now, one thing to note is that um, there are two modes of operation for MongoDB RAG, the NPM. There's the command line, which we just demonstrated. And the, the command line uses this JSON file for its, its brain. Um, the, the create RAG app capability is going to use a standard .env. So we need to populate a .env with these. Now I could go in, copy and paste them, but uh, I've simplified that process too. So let's use npx mongodb rag create env. It's going to query the JSON file and create a .env file. So cat.env. And there you go. Here's our, our details. Now we're going to create a full stack application in less than five minutes. And I've done a lot of the work for you. So uh, let me just show you very quick, quickly the database that we're going to be focusing on. Now, I'm using MongoDB Atlas. That's a requirement for MongoDB RAG. Uh, and there is really nothing in here uh, in this uh, cluster that I've built. Um, we can use Compass as well. Great tool. If you look at the, the data, there's no help desk database here yet. You can refresh databases. You can see there's no database there. Uh, but we're going to create one shortly, and I'm going to do that by ingesting documents. So the process of uh, using or writing a RAG application involves ingesting details that you will supplement a generalized AI chatbot with. Um, so let's go ahead and MongoDB RAG ingest, and there's a handy directory option, and we'll specify docs. Oh, let me show you the docs first. So CD docs. Uh, these are very simple. Uh, fake help desk documents, but if I look at software install, it's an issue and then some resolution steps. So I've got a number of them in there. So common things that you might see in a help desk, email problems, uh, I don't know, VPN issues, that type of thing. So let's ingest those. So I'm going to go back up to my rag desk, rag test, and go up one, and I'm going to NP, oops, CD rag test, and I'm going to npx mongodb rag ingest and I'll pass it the directory option with a reference to the docs directory. Now this is going to uh, read through those documents, chunk them up, and they're small so there's probably chunks of one for each, uh, but it'll chunk them up if you have larger documents too. It does support PDFs as well as Markdown and JSON. And we've successfully ingested 10 documents. So let's take a look at our uh, our database here in Compass, we'll refresh, and there we have it. We've got a new database called Help Desk with some articles in there. And you can see that there is a 1536 array element uh, embedding. So that is our uh, field that we're going to create the index on. 
which we need to create. So let's go back to our command line. We need a vector index. So let's use the handy command uh, MongoDB rag create index. And it's going to pull the information from the, the JSON file and it's going to assume the name is vector index. And if you want to verify, you can run MongoDB rag show indexes. Now it's not going to be ready just yet. It's probably going to be in a pending state. So you need to make sure that you wait until it's ready to be queried. But here's the details about the vector index that we created. Super simple, right? Like you don't even have to know any of the parameters to create a vector index. Um, and it'll show you your regular indexes too if you have other indexes in that database. So we can query that again, make sure it's ready to go. And sure enough, status is ready. Okay, so we should be ready to build our app. Let's build a help desk application. Super simple. Are you ready for this? Hang on. Right, create rag app. And I'll call it, I don't know, help desk. Okay, that's going to take some time. So I'm going to speed this up really quickly. And there we have it, a little celebration at the end, and we should be good to go. If we look at the directory structure, we've got a new one called Help Desk, which is the name of the application I specified. And if we look in here, there's a standard React front end and back end full stack. The back end leverages Express, the front end leverages React, and uh, we need to copy that env file that we created previously to the back end. So the backend knows where to go for the, the database and all sorts of good stuff. So uh, that's pretty much it. You can run dev from here and it's going to open a browser. Uh, three, port 3000 is the default. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. And there you have it, MongoDB rag application. Uh, it's waiting for a question from you. And again, we've uh, ingested help desk documents. So let's ask a question that would be asked by a help desk, for example. Um, I can't remember my password. It's going to search the database and sure enough we've got document one and uh, it does provide a score so you can see that these are uh, it's using metadata in the vector search and providing the, the search score so it matches pretty closely. Now I could format this with markdown which would be much nicer but um, I'll leave that to you. You can customize this app however you like. Um, from here, you can uh, continue on and, and build. And if you want more details about the library, you can visit npmjs.com slash package slash MongoDB rag, or you can take a look at the GitHub repository. And I would encourage you, if you're interested in, in developing and getting involved in a cool project, um, jump in, create a PR. If you find a bug or you would like to extend some of the commands, uh, please feel free to, uh, to hit me up. You can find me on LinkedIn at uh, linkedin.com slash in slash emlin. You can find me on Twitter at x.com slash emlin. Thanks for watching.